Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, June 5th. And again, we expect no severe weather here over the next five days. In fact, it looks like we're going to see seasonal temperatures uh, all week long with highs mainly around 70 or in the uh, 70s. And we expect very little rainfall here over the next five days, maybe one to three tenths of an inch of rain. Most of that coming here as we get into the day on Friday. Can't rule out an isolated shower or sprinkles uh, today and again uh, tomorrow afternoon with some instability. But overall, it looks like a pretty dry week out there. And you can see the extended all looks like we're going to heat up quite a bit with lots of 80 degree temperatures beginning this weekend. And you can see temper, uh, uh, moisture wise, we're going to be near to a slightly below normal. And then we'll increase that moisture as we get in towards uh, later next week. Again, with lots of warm temperatures, it's going to feel a lot like summer out there. And this morning, you see a nice looking uh, start to the day in Blissfield. This one, they're uh, looking north uh, from their uh, probe shack out there. And if we look at the uh, next slide, you can see evaporation forecast that I put out throughout the week. Looks like, again, mainly uh, uh, one to two tenths, maybe a quarter of an inch. Thursday is a little iffy right now. We'll call for two to three tenths. And you can track this all week and we'll uh, compare how we did on the forecast versus what actually happened. And again, overall, if we take the average of the forecast of these five days, it would come out to evaporations of about 8,500. So in order to stay even, we need 8,500 of an inch of rainfall, and that's not gonna happen. And if we look at the growing degree days from April 1st, you can see the numbers starting to pile up now. And if we look at the 50% plant date at some of the different locations, you can see Blissfield, one of the few locations that were a little bit behind on planting due to all the moisture they had down there. And if we look at some of the other locations, Breckenridge were right on average and uh, ahead of uh, most of the other years that we compare. And if we look at uh, Brown City, well ahead of average there as well. And uh, if we look at Clarksville, again, pretty close to uh, normal, a little bit above normal as far as the uh, temperature regime there. And if we look at uh, Nuevo, again, at the top of the chart. So we're doing quite well in growing degree days and moisture wise for now, but uh, we're certainly gonna be wanting some rain here as we get towards the weekend with some very warm air on the way. If we look at the conditions around the area this morning, see temperatures not too bad, mainly in the uh, upper 50s to low 60s. A cool front coming through is gonna dry us out and cool us down a little bit today. Yesterday's high is well into the 80s. We won't see that. We'll be mainly, again, around 70 or in the 70s for most of this week. You can see on the radar, most of the activity is well off to our south. Some dying showers this morning, but during the uh, heating of the uh, atmosphere later this afternoon, we could see an isolated sprinkler or shower again pop up. But again, most of the activity over the next five to seven days is going to be well off to our south and up into New England as we, again, remain pretty dry this week. And if we look at the forecast map for today, that low pressure system that brought some of the sprinkles overnight into uh, yesterday is also moving off to the east and high pressure will continue to move in from the west. And as we look at the map on Tuesday morning, high pressure in Canada is going to bring some cooler air down and we'll have uh, maybe some lows in the 40s with uh, highs again, mainly around 70 or so for Tuesday. And then as we get into Wednesday again, we'll uh, again, should stay pretty dry. It's gonna be kind of a, uh, in between these two highs, we might have a little bit more in a way of cloud cover Wednesday. And then finally, as we get into Thursday and Friday, some showers could pop up. But again, over the next uh, five days, right down through Friday evening at seven o'clock, you can see most areas will be around or less than a quarter of an inch across the area. Uh, some depictions of around about three tenths from areas around Kalkaska and Cadillac over towards uh, Bay City. But again, it doesn't look like a very wet week at all. Most of the activity, again, well off to our east and to our south. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.